Hey folks, welcome to the Stu's Game Reviews live stream. Um, the game we have today is called Egypt Kids. Let me start the Twitch stream also. I was going to play an Atari 2600 game tonight, but then I decided I have not played enough um, adventure games recently. Although, I mean, obviously I've played a ton, but like, I feel like the last few streams have not been any adventures. And I want to keep some adventure on my channel or content. Um, I, I do have a game picked for tomorrow. Oh, wait, what just happened? Just, my thing froze up. What the hell? Shit. What the hell was that? Same thing happened yesterday, if you guys remember. The beginning of the stream, the uh, the, the video like conked out for a second, and then it, it worked again. It worked for the whole rest of the stream. So hopefully that's a one-off, but I know there's some weird... Uh, problem with OBS or something like that. This version that I have maybe is like... I don't know. I, I'm surprised it happened again. This is great. My great enemy, no. Oh, wait. First of all, I have a game picked out for tomorrow. It's this game, Crypts of Chaos for the Atari 2600. It's like an RPG. Um, that should be interesting. Now I got washed out because I picked that up. Um, but for today, I wanted to play... It was ended? That's weird. Okay. Well, hopefully it doesn't happen again. It, like, yesterday, or not yet, yeah, Thursday it happened, like, one time. I'm going to try to update OBS, because maybe it's something wrong with this version. Uh, but it looks like it happened once, and that was it. So hopefully that will be the case here, too. But in any case, um, I just figured I'll pick a, a, a game at random for my collection. And literally, this game just was at the top of the pile. I figured, let's try it. I never tried it before. Now, Egypt... Um, if, if you guys heard of the company Creo, it's a French company that made a lot of adventure games. Um, they made mostly first-person adventure games with, with some video and stuff, and they did a lot of educational ones, like set like in different historical time periods. So there was actually... The first one they did was Atlantis, I think. The Lost Tales is not really quite historical. They did, like, three Atlantis games, I think. And they did Egypt, and they did Inca, and China, and... Pompeii and other stuff like that. I played the Inca one and it was actually quite good, surprisingly. I was very surprised. Um, the Egypt game must have been decent because they made three of them. There's Egypt 1, 2, and 3. And they decided to make at some point Egypt Kids using the Egypt 2 engine. And, uh, you know, it's probably like, okay, I mean, we'll see. I guess hopefully it's really good. I don't know. <laughs> but we'll find out shortly. Um... But yeah, let me let me quit this. There's a cool intro video. Oh, by the way, it installed and ran, I'm running Windows 11. It installed and ran perfectly in Windows 11 off the CD. Uh, I guess the only comment I have is that like it's hard to get these games to run in window mode, which just it's not their fault. I mean, like back in the day, I always wanted a game to be full screen, and so the games run full screen. When I'm streaming on a big monitor, I, you know, I want the games to run in window mode so I can see the chat and stuff like that too. I mean, I have another monitor here, but I use that for the Twitch chat, and I, I it's it's too difficult to. I mean, I could, whatever. I could theoretically have the the YouTube chat there and, and just screw Twitch, which I probably should do because Twitch nobody ever, like hardly anybody ever joins. But I don't know. I, I like I like window mode. It's easier just to, to to. I don't like having the whole screen taken over, and I can't do anything. Like I'm in Microsoft Windows. I should be able to hear Windows. See Windows XP. I should be able to use some Windows. As opposed to just having it stuck in full screen mode like a DOS game, I guess. So anyway, I'm gonna quit this though and restart it so you guys can see the um, the cool intro. Uh, well, it's sort of cool, and there's some music here. Let me know if the music is too loud or too quiet or whatnot. But I'm gonna quit it out of it and start it again. And I'm running it through DX Wind. That's the only way to get it to run a window. But luckily, I found a, I found a profile for Atlantis: The Lost Tales, and it worked for this game too. It's not really an intro; it's just the Cryo the Creo logo, but it's pretty cool. I used to call it Cryo, but it's actually pronounced Creo because it's French. It's also made by the Réunion des Musées Nationaux, which is some some uh, educational company. Uh, literally, that's it. All right, let's start the game. 
start a new adventure. By the way, one thing that's weird about this is that, like, the mouse cursor, I get, like, the mouse cursor the game wants and also the regular Windows mouse cursor. I got something with DX Wind. I didn't have to, uh, time to, or patience to try to fix that, but it's fine anyway. Go to sleep, little one. It's early to rise tomorrow. Good night and sweet dreams. Let me know if the audio is okay, the balance, or if it's too quiet. I've been waiting for you all day. Hurry up, they need us. Have you noticed my new gear? Fit for a king, don't you think? Uh, well, I'd say fit for a pharaoh is more appropriate. My cousin Hippo called me this morning and asked me to help him. He lives in Egypt at the time of the pharaohs. Here's the message. Hey, man, Miss Sunrise. I don't know how someone calls you from the time of the pharaohs. They didn't have phones back then, and also, like, you can't call someone through time, but whatever. Drago, this is from your cousin Hippo. Please come as quickly as you can. I need your help. Nye has vanished and I'm worried sick. It's really easy to get here. Just travel back in time to the year 1360 BC. Hurry, I'm afraid for Nye. I don't know where she's got to. By the way, Nye is Hippo's playmate in much the same way as you and I. What could have happened to her? So, hey, backpack gear boy. Not only is it 3D, it's it's 3D with a with a rotation. Ooh, ooh, look at that fancy schmancy. Ooh. So um. I have an idea. If you want to know more about Nye, then click on the light bulb. So he, he talks a lot, but I think it's, it stops as time goes on. That voice acting, though. Yeah, the voice acting of that, whatever that was, that, that dreadlocked animal was pretty bad, in my opinion. I don't even know what kind of accent that was. But how does the, uh, correct prior gear, boy? Um, so what was I saying? Oh, yeah, how, is the audio okay? Let me know if the audio is okay, please. I might as well click on this. Pirate gear was repeating stuff that I said before because he wasn't here. Listen to Dragoo's advice. All right. You must get your stuff ready before we can leave. A good rummage in your room should suffice. You'll find everything you need there. All right, so that's like the head thing. I don't want to do that. Change inventory. That's where all the questions that you asked your that's your fine. Okay, go. Good. Then click on the person of your choice who will in turn supply the answer if he or she can. So there's inventory of objects, inventory of ideas. Options, listen, I don't know, listen again. So there's an alarm clock. You have found the vehicle that will beam us back in time. Your alarm clock will take us to ancient Egypt. But first, you must get ready. That won't come in handy. There's masses of information to digest. For instance, do you know how to build a pyramid? I actually do not know how to build a pyramid. Nor do I care. So apparently this guide is, I was reading a review online, they said this guide is so wonderful. If you print it out, you can use it just to like teach a class or something. Get your ass to Egypt. <laughs> Get your ass to Egypt! <laughs> it's funny. Remember to click on the bulb if you get stuck. That's the back of the tears, you see this? Yeah, that's funny. What else can I click on here? I can open to do anything. All this shit, and I can't click on anything. I mean, not a humongous game, that's for sure. Is he doing some fact? What the hell? Some fancy dance or something? What the hell is he doing? Are he hitting a ball around? I don't see anything to do. All right, I guess I'll click on his icon. Your camera and guidebook are essential companions for the trip. I saw the book on the table. Yeah, I got the book. Where's the camera? The camera is up my ass. Reach into my ass and pull it out. I don't see shit. Oh, here it is. Excellent right. idea. We're going to take heaps of pictures in Egypt. 
we can add them to the travel book that your parents gave you. Before I forget, you can check your stock by clicking my feet. That's where you'll put all the objects that you find. You can give them to people you meet along the way if you so desire. Just click on the object and then the recipient. For example, so far you have two objects, namely your camera and photo album. You'll have plenty of opportunity to use them. There are also other buttons next to the stock. You'd best click on them to see what they do. I'll teach you how to play an adventure game. I get it. What kind of a camera is this? It might be like 1930 or something? I have a boom box. All right now, can I go back in time? Okay. Welcome to Egypt, the land of the pharaohs. Let the adventure begin. Let's go. There's no time to waste. This looks a little more interesting. Where am I supposed to go, though? Just wander around aimlessly? Like, that ball thing is annoying. Why is he playing with his balls? Like, I'm going to play with my balls while you have an adventure. You don't mind, do you? I love playing with my freaking balls all the time. I guess I gotta go this way. So it's like 3D, but then when you get there, we're here. Oh, we're here because this this friend, like the hippo, the blue hippo with the dreadlocks, called him up and said he needs help or something like that. Why can't I open the door? I'm clicking on it. Not doing anything. Yeah, you can't look up and down in this one, Pirate Gear Boy. I, I tried. I don't think you can, anyway. I, I went back. I need to go back. Ugh. I'm playing with my balls again! Do you like playing with your balls? Pirate... Oh, sorry. <laughs> I meant to say, The gamer's grotto loves playing with his balls! He likes playing with other people's balls, too! Oh, it got super loud all of a sudden. What the hell? Is it loud for you guys also? I'm just going, like, straight like, until the end of time. Is that how this works? I can't go straight anymore. I reach a dead end. Even though there's, there's definitely a path there. Uh -huh. What's going on there, I wonder? That's one of the Pharaoh's guards with a small boy. Maybe we should ask him what they're doing. I'm molesting this child. Now leave me alone. The boy has no face. Or he's looking down, I guess. Entry is forbidden. We caught a thief last night and we're holding him inside. The governor will decide his fate tomorrow. Fear not. A good dose of fire will set them straight. What? Remember what I told you. Go home before nightfall. You didn't tell me that. Remember what I told you. Go home before nightfall. Does he have like a hole in his crotch? Like what is this? Looks like he has like a black hole there or something. Who are you? I've never laid eyes on you before. I'm Menu, the leader of the gang. I'm in charge here, do you hear? Who does he think he is? If only I could unleash a volley of fire right in his face, that would show him who's boss. You want to kill him? Why does he... It's probably an English accent if he's Egyptian. Are you still here? Look, if you want to join my team, then you better listen. I decide what's what here. What do I want to join your team? You're some little pisher. Can you click on him and have him shoot him with fire? Are you still here? It's not. Look, if you want to join my team, then you better listen. I decide what's what here. Okay. Don't hang around, kid. Robbers roam the streets as soon as the sun sets. Oh, now you told me that. All right, that's so interesting. What's the point of this? I just like going in some random direction. Your guy there. Oh, that must be nice, father. Hippo said that he was a trader. A traitor or a trader? Good morning, young man. So chunky. I don't think we've met. Can you help me? I've just returned from a long trip down the Nile, as you can see from the goods that I brought back with me. I must weigh the produce before going to market. 
Could you see to it for me? In return for the work, I will give you some of the finest gum from Biblos. If you accept, then feel free to use the weighing machine. Hang on, w one minute. Doesn't he know that it's against the law to employ dragons? That's you, dumbass. This guy looks very strange. His 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 character model and his face. Like he he looks very odd. Hugo Weaving? <laughs> I don't think so. All right, so is, is, where's the weighing machine? Oh, this is the weighing machine. Right, it's roll up your sleeves time. There's some sorting to do. When you're ready, click on new game. <laughs> Where? <laughs> click on new game. Where's new game? Does anybody see it? Oh, the bird's new game. Oh, of course, like because that's very obvious. Like, I was supposed to know that. Select your level. I guess I'm over difficult since this is a kid's game. Crikey, that's what I call difficult. They're such lightweight to play with. In order to proceed with your calculation, you must make use of the pre-recorded weights of the other goods and then draw a comparison. If you need any explanations, simply click on me. What the hell am I supposed to do? Weigh this thing? You see, in your case, the weights are heavier than the goods. Okay. Well, this is easy enough, just trial and error. That's exactly right, isn't it? Depending on the product, you may want to either add or remove weight so as to achieve the right balance on the weighing machine. I get it, you dumb fuck. You have to explain it to me. Can't put that there. No more room. What's to do? It's totally full. Hello, get here. Get out of there. What? What's it? I mean, if it's too heavy, what do I do? What's he eating? I don't get that. Maybe I could use it. I could use the other thing to like this. That, that, that won't even help. All right, let's make something else instead. Where the kiosk? I don't know. Okay, so this is three thousand G's. Aha! Uh -huh. I think I figured it out. Maybe. This is 4,500 G's. I don't know what I'm doing with them aside from weighing them, but at least I figured out how to weigh that. What is this? Defense of Ivory. Ivory. something else to weigh this thing. This, I mean, this is interesting. Not this part, but hopefully this is just a passing fleeting activity. 3250. Green. Seventeen fifty Lapis Lazuli five hundred grams. Fifteen hundred. Right, all I got left is this guy. Too much. 
Now sort out all the products in the baskets and ensure that they weigh the same. Oh, I gotta make them all weigh the same? Oh, man. Alright, well, these two have to go together, right? What was the 50s? Maybe not. I'm confused. I can't put these together, can I? I Maybe mean, they go. They should. Fantastic! Okay, good. You've done it, boy. You really are hot at maths. Let me score seventy-one. <laughs> what the? Like to play again? Click on new game. I got it right. What the hell? Oh, good work. You managed to sort it all out. 71. Here's the special gum from Biblos that I promised. Uh, that's gum? Don't take it. Give it to me. I want some Biblos gum. Oh, yeah. It's too sweet for my liking. You can have it. Oh, it's so nice of you. Dumb shit. Can I ask him where his, where his like, kid is? Or like he doesn't give a damn about the kid? The kid's missing, right? If you like, you can help me weigh my goods. There's still work to do, and the machine's over there. No, I don't want to help you weigh your stupid goods. Or where can I go now? Was it to give gum to the dumb kid? Is that the idea? I bet you that's the idea. You want some chewing gum, little boy? You want some chewing gum? Hello? Hello? You want some chewing gum? Why is it not working? Are you still here? Look, if you want to join my team, then you better listen. I decide what's what here. I would think at least he would, like, say, I don't want that crap or something, and not just ignore me. I know nine well. She's one of our gang, but hasn't been seen for two days. You can come and join us in our escapades if you find her. She has the boy, the father. This guy. See, she's just saying I don't know about the per that person, as opposed to just ignoring me. The music is not bad, but it gets a little loud. I wasn't aware that you knew my daughter. I am in distress. She does her little disappearing acts quite often, but never for more than a day. I don't know where she has got to. If you see her, please let me know. I'm very worried. You didn't seem very worried. You didn't mention person at all. What's this? Stefan Peek? I don't know who that is. What is this? I don't know what that is. Stefan, pick my ass. So far, this is like the best game I've ever played. I'm just wandering around aimlessly. This person's like, Hello, dumbass! And he's not ever from me any hints either. There's no hands for it. Always when he's dancing and playing with his balls. Well, this dude up here. I can't, like, interact with him. Just his legs. I guess not. Um... So I can go back the way I came, but that's not very helpful. Did I miss something? There was a door before that I couldn't do anything with. Well, I didn't think I could do anything with it.
There's a door. So why does it let me do that with the door? I could. Hello. What's this? Why is it? Let's go. I don't understand this game. It does like interact button with the door. When I click on it, it does nothing. I feel like I'm too stupid to play the kids game. There's nowhere else to go here. Music is getting to me actually. Like it's annoying. It's not bad, but it's just it's annoying. Just <laughs> worse game stinks worse. <laughs> Those ancient Egyptians might. That's funny. I mean, I don't disagree. Don't you got anything useful to say, Dragoo? Oh, jeez. Yippee! There's that big lump, Hippo. Go on, tickle him. That'll do the trick. Where? Oh, here? I, I was I not here before? I guess I'm like a little bit more to the side. Okay. What? Everything changed? Here we are in the wonderful world of Hippo. We will soon know more about the disappearance of Nye. By the way, to return to Egypt, simply oh. click on me. Morning! Oh, quick, quick! The police can have some Biblos gum! <laughs> oh, hurry up, these mice are tickling me! <laughs> oh, I can't shake them off! Oh, nah, I always used to give some Biblos bubble gum to get rid of the mice! Oh. Mice? Mice? Are... Oh, thanks! Oh, these mice have nearly made me die of laughter! <laughs> Please to be here. I'm Hippo, King of the Nile, and friend of Nye! Okay. Time's running out. Fine, Nye. I called for your and Drago's help. I'm worried because Nye's been missing for two days. She went to the slave trader's house and hasn't been seen since. Slave trader's house? That she's being held against her will. We must save her. I'm counting on you. Doesn't sound like a good place to go. The slave trader's house. She went to the house of human sacrifice, and then she hasn't been seen. I wonder what happened to her. I mean, doubt she was sacrificed, right? Hippo game. I can't do anything with it. It just, makes it, it just doesn't, doesn't... When I click, it does nothing. So, that's probably a good thing. Oh, what's this? Oh. Oh, I can't look... <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright, fine. Whatever. I guess I can ask these people about the slave trader. Nope, I can't ask him. He just ignores me. Piss off, kid. He ignores me too. Oh, he's trying to respond. Watch your step with him. He's evil. He kidnaps children and then sells them off as slaves to other countries. Don't go anywhere near him, or before you know it, he'll have an iron chain around your neck. Well, then why did um, the girl go there if she knew that? Pretty dumb. How about this? Where does he live? That's what I'd like to know. Take great care, my child. You are dealing with a dangerous individual. Maybe that door that I couldn't go to before is where he lives. I bet you. Yeah, Jim, that's why I'm, I asked that too. Like, the old British accent said this is supposed to take place in Egypt. I, I don't know. And now he's going to be a hint. I'm going to try to go back to that door. Where was that door? Was it the next screen? Very missed, like, except even more cryptic, if that's possible. Oh, wait. Did someone stay there? Oh, we must tread carefully. This guy hardly inspires confidence. 
This is so 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 back Kotap. Why are you hanging around my house? Scram! I don't want prowlers hanging around. I sell prowlers off as slaves, you know. You see? I was right. This traitor is a no good, nasty piece of work. That little rascal. If I get my hands on him, I'll teach him a lesson or two. Now, you listen to me. If you see Nye, tell him where she is. I'll make it worth your while. Mm hmm? Yeah, thanks, thanks, Gamers Grotto. What the hell did he say? That little rascal. If I get my hands on him, I'll teach him a lesson or two. Now, you listen to me. If you see Nye, tell him where she is. I'll make it worth your while. Tell him where she is? I haven't seen it. Have you perchance seen the jeweler? He's meant to be bringing me a petrol that I'm to give to the governor. Wretched jeweler. I'm already late. The governor will be furious. A pectoral? Wait, is this pectoral? Pectoral, that's like a muscle. You don't even know what a pectoral is. A simpleton puts you to shame. Go on, scarper before I lose my temper. Okay. I'll ask the other nice people what a pectoral is. I mean, this guy doesn't really talk at all, but... Nope, nothing changed there. A pectoral is a type of necklace. It's a very valuable piece of jewelry. Are you still here? Look, if you want to join my team, then you better listen. I decide what's what here. Alright, you said that already, dumbass. Hey, Johnny Bond. My child, I have no pectoral in my batch of goods. The governor had asked me to bring one back for him, but I didn't find one beautiful enough for him. This guy's so odd looking. If you like, you can help me weigh my goods. There's still work to do, and the machine's over there. <laughs> Curious to hope you can make a, a Egypt Gary investigates kids Gary investigates slave traders. It's a good question. It wasn't me. Uh, I'm just to go back to this hippo. Let's see. I don't know. Look is in. I am in possession of a splendid pectoral. It used to belong to a pharaoh, no less. Why don't you play with me and I'll give you the pectoral if you win. To play, click on the map by my feet. Okay, now let's me do it. Welcome to the Nile. We're about to visit the famous places in Egypt at the time of the pharaohs. Click on new game when you're ready. Oh, I can't wait. Again, it says click on new game, but like it doesn't actually tell you that this bird is a new game. Select your level. Remember that you've only got a few chances to succeed at the highest level. Select your destinations with care. If you need any explanations, simply click on me. The flags are there to show you the way. Select your destination by clicking on them. Is that a board game? I got a one. I mean, what am, how does this work? The rules are straightforward. You will be given a list of objects that you must find. For example, this could be 10 golden stumps, five ebony cabinets, etc. You will find these in different places on the map. It could be in towns, mines, or oases. There will be surprises in some, but danger will lurk in others. You must be alert at all times. To win, you must collect all the good before Hippo. Right, but like... But I got a one. Where am I now? Where do I start? I don't understand where I, where I am. I click on anything? No, apparently not. What's going on here? Where the hell am I? What's, I can't click on anything. The oh, goddess oh. Isis is okay, sending that's her me. blessing. You're free to choose your starting point. Um, I'm free to choose my starting point. 
Okay, what does that mean? I go wherever I want. On the left, you can see your current stock. And on the right, you can see the stock in the place you've stopped. Choose the objects you want to take with you. Okay. I have zero of everything. I mean, I guess I'll take two everything. Why, why, why should I just take everything they have? He's the end thing. Okay. Now what? <laughs> Crash back. I got a two. I got a good wind. That's a favorable wind. You can jump three squares. Yeah, I don't want to go pirates. That doesn't seem like a good place to go. I really want to jump three square. I don't know what the hell's going on here. The goddess Isis is sending her blessing. You're free to choose your starting point. This guy is incense. I mean, I'm probably missing something here. Oh, I have to go to pirates now. Oh, no, here, sorry. Can I, like, avoid the pirates? <laughs> I'm losing, I only have a certain number of turns, and I'm losing the, the turns. So that's a problem. Now comes the hazardous part, as you must negotiate one of the Nile's torrents. Throw the dice. If it lands on the even number, then you go through without further ado. But if it's an odd number, you forfeit two objects. I guess I'll forfeit this save. What happened? Did I go here to Aswan yet? I did. Oh my god. I have no chance here, do I? I don't need any of this shit. I need, like, other stuff that I don't have. I'll take everything you got. It doesn't do shit for me. Crocodile quiz. Uh, I'm not gonna make it. Still, in fact, anything that I actually need. Now comes a hazardous part. Yes, I get it. You don't have to explain it again. Throw the dice. If it lands on the even number, then you go through without further ado. But if it's an odd number, you forfeit two objects. Oh, you forfeit two objects. You like that, don't you? Oh, I just told me that I forfeited. I didn't have a choice in the matter. What's the crocodile quiz? I was there already? Oh, damn it. I didn't realize. What's this wreck? That's good. You've hit upon the wreck of an old ship. You win another object. But it's an object I didn't need. What's this? Okay, I get this stuff I don't need. What the hell's the point of this shit? This is really stupid. I was already here. Oh, there's different stuff here now. Actually, finally got something I needed. It's a good win, I get it. The goddess Isis is sending her blessing. You're free to choose your starting point. 
think I've been to all these places. I've got a hat noob. Some other crap I don't need. There's no trading in this or anything, so what's the point? <laughs> Why would I not take everything? That's a favorable wind. You can jump three squares. Fayum, Oasis, Curse. I guess I'll go this way. Oh wow, that's something I need, but only two of them. I'm getting there, but I'm not going to win enough, not enough time. Broad beans. Can't go there. Maybe the desert sounds like a bad place to go. I'll go here. That's a favorable wind. You can jump three squares. Uh, I was there already? I guess I was. I forgot where I went. What's the Rabian Desert? We'll find out now. Oh, there's good stuff in Rabian Desert, actually. Stuff that I needed. I didn't know that. Hmm. If I, I mean, I could probably do this better next time. I have some clue what's going on. I've been almost everywhere. Fortunately, not what I needed still, but... And I'm getting there. If I had enough turns, it would be, it would be nice. Now, you have to place an offering at the base of the pyramid. You lose another of your precious objects. Well, I didn't know that. So again, see, there's the problem. There's no rules here in advance. Wasting too much time. Oh god, I'm not even landing anything. <laughs> oh god. Treasure. Great! You found some treasure! You will find one of the objects that you're missing. Well, that's good. But it doesn't help me. Last chance. I'm done. Am I done? Oh, now I'm done. Negative one. <laughs> I guess I lost. Select your Let's level. Try me this time because. Remember, you've got a limited number of chances I get at more the hardest now. level. Select your destinations with care. If you need any explanations, simply click on me. The flags are there to show you the way. You... Select your destination by clicking on them. You were totally useless when I clicked on you, so don't tell me to click on you. I'm just going to go this way. Screw that stuff. Hey, did I, I got... Oh, I don't need that. I thought I did. Lentils. I wish there was some way of knowing what, what places had the shit that I need.
Welcome to Storm. I can already so freaking think of the whole world, but it doesn't do anything for me. This is a really dumb game. There's no, like, logic to it at all. I can't, I can't even go that way. Huh. Ridiculous. I have lots of green. What the hell is this? I'm not going that way. Like, he wins no matter what I do. That's a favorable wind. You can jump three squares. So I keep it for no reason because there's nothing I need here. Pyramid we established is bad. Look over there. Well, then I go here. Give me a good roll. Great! You found some treasure. You will find one of the objects that you're missing. I just go on treasure repeatedly. That's a favorable wind. You can jump three squares. Come on. Ah, this game sucks. God, it's all the time spent to go there, and it's like totally useless. How am I supposed to know where to go? Well, it's wreck. That's good. You've hit upon the wreck of an old ship. You win another object. What's the object I don't need? Are you guys like with me here? I'm really I'm crazy. I'm just going back and forth like a putz. I got light bulbs. You still here? Sorry, Pirate Gear Boy. Time to read the manual. Okay, let's go crocodile quiz. The old crocodile of the Nile wants to ask you a question. Endeavor to answer correctly. Congratulations! Spot on! I get some objects I don't need. Great! You found some treasure! You will find one of the objects that you're missing. I assume pirates are bad. We don't know, so let's go there. Some pirates are attacking you and have pinched one of your objects. Where, where am I? I'm stuck. There's nowhere else to go? Wrong answer. The right answer is. Jeez, Cleopatra was not Egyptian. Okay. Infections. Are... I'm gonna lose again. That's good. You hit upon the wreck of an old ship. You win another object. I mean, like, there's not even anything here. Like, where's where's to go? I gotta need a freaking like four sided die. I gotta clean this place out. 
All these places I cleaned out. I'm like fucked. Congratulations, spot on. I, I, this is horseshit. This is complete horseshit. That's a favorable wind. You can jump three squares. I have break wind in a minute. And if I can jump three squares. Well, I'm not saying the whole game is bad, it's this part. On the wreck of an old ship, you win another object. I'm gonna go easy this time. Select your level. If you need any explanations, simply click on me. Where's the thing where I got to? Oh, it was the Temple of Isis. The I could... goddess Isis is sending her blessing. You're free to choose your starting point. Okay, can I scroll? What just happened? I what? What happened? Where did I, how did I get here? No, no, no. Select your level. If you need any explanations, simply click on me. What That's is a favorable no, wind. No. You can jump three squares. All right, it's just ice. Okay, fine. I want to start down over here. The goddess Isis is sending a blessing. You're free to choose your starting point. All right, I want to start down here. Not what I needed, but. The right answer is. Yeah, hard for those with like unfavorable or random number generators. <sighs> There's no way to know where what has the thing I want. So like, I could go back, but like I don't know if I should go back. You know, that's the problem with this whole game. Oh, thank God, I need this. I have five of them, too. Now comes the hazardous part, as you must negotiate one of the Nile's torrents. Throw the dice. If it lands on the even number, then you go through without further ado. But if it's an odd number, you forfeit two objects. Hope it's not the one I need. Oh, oh God, you took one of my gold things. You bastard. I don't lose the game because of that. Imagine I get like everything except for that. that oh, there's no time limit anymore. Ah, okay. So I can't lose now, hopefully. It's just until I, until I actually win. Which is the way it should be. <laughs> Some pirates are attacking you and have pinched one of your objects. It's okay, I'll do that shit. The goddess Isis is sending a blessing. You're free to choose your starting point. I'll choose my starting point right up here. Great! You found some treasure! You will find one of the objects that you're missing. Great! You found some treasure! You will find one of the objects that you're missing.
some pirates are attacking you and have pinched one of your objects. I didn't want it. Some pirates are attacking you and have pinched one of the your objects. The hippo is the, is, the, is the pirate. Uh, sounded the so right good. Answer is... Ugh, it's not, that first one sounded really good. But I guess it was just a trick. That's good. You've hit upon the wreck of an old ship. You win another object. I have no time of it, so it's like well, as long as it takes. That's good. You've hit upon the wreck of an old ship. I'll try to get to Gaza. Some pirates are attacking you and have pinched one of your objects. Don't care. Upon the wreck of an old ship, you win another object. <laughs> uh, come on. Oh no, I forgot the pyramid is bad. Now you have to place an offering at the price of the pyramid. Excuse me. You lose another of your precious objects. That's two of those I lost. It's like the guy's laughing at me. You lose another of your precious objects, dumbass. I got a load of those. That's nice. Okay, that's that. Almost done. Let's do it curses. An evil spell has fallen on you, and you have to go back. Back. Some place good, it looks like. Oh, okay, that's what I needed. The only thing I'm missing those two gold bands that were stolen from me. Gold bands. I should go to treasure things. I don't have it there. That's what I want. Treasure. I usually to get laid on treasure twice and I'm done. Actually. Come on! Uh, damn it! Come on! Give me a... This game sucks. Finally! Great! You found some treasure. Oh, what the hell! I don't need that. That's horseshit. Hey, Louise. Dragon is trying to like kill me. That's why. God damn it! Storm, I'm sure is bad. Good wind is probably good. That's a favorable wind. You can jump three squares. I don't need this. I need those dumb bracelets. I got everything else in the freaking world except for what I actually need. 
Uh, I don't remember where, where I was anymore. That's a favorable wind. You can jump three squares. I don't want to jump three squares. What should I do? He has to first finish eating before he, tell, the before he talks. The goddess Isis is sending her blessing. You're free to choose your starting point. Very right. hey, good. Great! You found some treasure. You will find one of the objects that you're missing. Or you might find objects you're not missing. Damn you! Great! You found some treasure! You will find one of the objects that you're missing. I have that already. I'm not missing it. Ugh. Great! You found some treasure! You will find one of the objects that you're missing. That's a favorable win! I know what it you is! Three squares. I played this before! I already was here, right? Oasis of Fire Fra. Yeah, I was definitely there. I think the place that I that I need to get this thing from is already out, and I'm, there's nothing else. I'm done. Great! You, ah! you will find one of the objects that you're missing. You dumb piece of shit! I'm not missing that. Great! You found some treasure. You will find one of the objects that you're missing. That's a favorable wind. You can jump three squares. Oh my god. I'm gonna have a limited turn, so otherwise I have no shot. Great! You found some <laughs> treasure! You will find one of the objects that you're missing. Oh my god! Look, this is like, it's torturing me here. I love board games inside adventure games. It's, it's such a good idea. Great! You found some treasure! You will find one of the objects that you're missing. If I don't get the next one, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I'm really losing my mind. You passed some good wind! Finally! Great! You found some treasure! You will find one of the objects that you're missing. Well done! You found everything! Oh my god. Would you like to play a game? When you feel ready, click on New Game. Are you fucking out of your mind? Yeah, Vaughn, congratulations! Here's the pectoral, as promised. We can play again if you want. Yeah, not, not a million years. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm traumatized from that. My pectoral. I must leave for the governor's house immediately. You can tell the jeweler he can forget about his money. The delay simply isn't acceptable. I like how he actually walked away and didn't just like disappear or something. Now I can finally go in.
Worse than the snake game? No. That was that game was called Dragon, by the way. That was that was much worse. I mean, that wasn't even really a game. That's weird. Strange. Hmm. Oh, look at those holes in the wall. My gut feeling is that they've been made very recently. Blast! The trader has locked the door. How are we to enter? If I let my emotions get the better of me, I'd blow a thousand flames and reduce the door to ashes. Oh, but that might injure Nai. Let's just do that. How about I... Oh, okay. I gotta, like, get something to climb up with? Or something? What a lame excuse for not using your powers. I don't think you have any flame breath, dragon. You're like a freaking liar. Why can't I interact with these things? <laughs> Thanks, Luis. I can't... I mean, he's, he's ridiculous. He's very annoying. What do I do with this? Oh, is that a hint? Since the door is shut, we're going to have to find a way of clambering over the wall. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. Can't use the camera. Oh gosh. Oh my god, no. What was that? Oh nice. Naked young boy. It's wonderful. I mean, if a kid giggles every time the dragon dances, that kid is really a big loser. Alright, so, like, I can't do anything with these holes. They're just there. I can't interact with them. I'm going to have to leave and tell the other kid to help me or some stupid thing like that. The dragon's really in charge of Binks. That's funny. I have an idea! Maybe we can go ask that dumb kid for help! Hey, dumbass. Are you still here? Look, if you want to join my team, then you better listen. I decide what's what here. Well, I'm listening. You didn't say a damn thing. Watch your step with him. He's evil. He kidnaps children and then sells them off as slaves to other countries. Don't go anywhere near him, or before you know it, you'll have an iron chain around your neck. Listen to the dragon's advice. These holes could help us to climb the wall. No kidding! You don't say! I probably gotta go back to this dumb, stupid hippo, right? Is that it? I have, like, some sticks you can stick in your hole. I stick things in holes all the time. So have you found Nye? So have you found Nye? No, I've not found Nye. Oh god. Oh, nothing here. Definitely not play that stupid game again. Crikey! I can tell the father about it. Maybe the father will give a shit. Hey, this is a pretty cool place. You can take a picture if you want, and you'll be able to see it in your album later on. Now all of a sudden I can take a picture? I, I went through here five times. How come now I can take a picture before I couldn't? But not this. Okay. You could do something to help me, jackass. If you like, you can help me weigh my goods. There's still work to do, and the machine's over there. No, I don't. I'm trying to help you find your stupid daughter. Or son, or whatever the hell it is. I mean, pictures of the same children. I, want, I thought if I take a, I thought I'd take a picture of the rocks, you know, the holes, and I could bring it back and show it to somebody. What'd they say? They're like, sorcery! Where would you get that, that thing from? How did that work? Oh my god! Like, would they kill me or something? 
But I figured that might be the right thing to do. I pick up any of this shit that's lying around before I couldn't. And that doesn't mean anything. Place. Like it's hard to even find the right way to go. Climb the tree. What the world am I supposed to do? Is there another? I mean, like, what can I just like use the holes to climb? Is that very simple. Look at the door; it does literally does nothing. He doesn't do anything either now. It's like I, I need some object I don't have. I really don't know what to do. And, and I mean, this guy, I, I mean, it's not like this guy has hints for you, right? But his hints are useless. Well, I, wait, I, I was about to say, I go this way. I was always able to go this way, I just I couldn't go very far. I think this is where I started off, actually. How come this guy gets to eat the whole freaking game and I can't eat anything? Give me some goddamn food, too. You know, Phantasmagorian Keeper. I really don't understand this. Literally nothing here. They now speak to the guard or something. It's the only way I can go. Remember what I told you. Go home before nightfall. You're so helpful. Don't hang around, kid. Robbers roam the streets as soon as the sun sets. Can't go in there. Can I kill the guard? I pulled a knot in his pants. His pants will fall down. I told you, go home before nightfall. And then he'll let me, uh, he'll leave. I'm not clicking on that thing again. Not go this way at all. Well, do your stupid chores again. All right, able to look at the hints to figure out what we, what we need to do here. I am not looking at, the, at this. I feel like I found out what happened to her. I wasn't aware that you knew my daughter. I am in distress. Your daughter or son? She does her little disappearing acts quite often, but never for more than a day. I don't know where she has got to. If you see her, please let me know. I'm very worried. Seems so worried. When you feel ready, click on New Game. All right, look at this myself. This 
sad that I have to get hits for a kid's game. Uh, is there even hints? <laughs> Age of Kids, Age of Kids, Buy Age of Kids Online. And, uh, uh, game Solutions. Egypt Kids. What? What happened? Oh. oh, damn it. Hold on. I use the Wayback Machine to find it because it's not there anymore. Uh, okay, here we go. Oh my god, there's five knights? To the right of the guard, you'll see a pile of bricks. Okay. Couldn't afford to keep one up. I didn't see a pile of bricks. Oh, I could do it. How much did I know that? You can use those bricks in front of the door. They belong to my father. He's a builder. Oh, yeah. That was just adventure. I mean, I, I don't like using walkthroughs, but, like, there's no way I would have found that without, like, looking for, like, ten hours. I mean, like, it's ridiculous. I was there before. Like, a good adventure game will let you pick up stuff even before you need it. If it doesn't let you pick up stuff until you need it, it's a big flaw in the game, honestly. Because I must know it's there, otherwise. Well spotted! You have your wits about you. The bricks fit perfectly into the holes. Clever kid, you could almost be a dragon. <laughs> we can use the bricks as steps on a ladder. That way we can get in through the balcony. Up the stairs we go. Last one up is a toad. Okay. That's how we came in, I guess. Yeah, how convenient. <laughs> oh, the door is locked. We're out of luck. Now what? Oh. That's an odd piece of wood. It reminds me of my grandfather Fulcifer's toothpick. It says key on it. <laughs> Does it work? What the hell? Maybe it's the key down the door downstairs. You're absolutely right. Now is a good time to leave. The slave trader could return any minute and catch us. Not to worry. I'll go and tell Hippo. No, I can't. Okay. He says I have to go tell Hippo, so that's what I'm supposed to go back there? Sorry, Hippo. You're shit out of luck. We couldn't find you, dumb kid. We don't really care anyway. Aren't I supposed to be sleeping, like, from this kid? 
Why am I trying to find some tin gap? I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Just be sleeping. I got school tomorrow, damn it. So, have you found Nye? Nye's key. Oh, I understand. It's the key to Nye's secret hiding place in those old grain silos. Here, take this map of the town to help you find where. Nye must be in there somewhere. Why don't you give me this before, dipshit? To open the map, click on the button on the bottom right. The map will help us to find our way around town. Open it by clicking the button on the bottom right. To get into the yard where the silos are, click on their picture on the map. It's the same place that I was. What about this one? Okay, the courtyard of silos. Thank God, a new location. Those small stone towers must be the haylofts that Hippo was talking about. Maybe that's where Nye is. Or they don't care. Let's try to go up the stairs. You can't go up the stairs. Why? Of course not. That would be too easy. You got mail. What was that noise? Oh, I mean, I got a hint option. Something there. Some guy digging there at the end. Is that a dead mouse? I can't go there. It's a dead mouse, I think. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Can't go up there. Can't go anywhere. Can't go that way. Can't go this way, can't go that way. Why are there dead rodents all over the place? Fine, let's read this. If what Hippo says is true, then Nye could well be hidden in the haylofts. So let's find out. Well, how? A hayloft? It's a hay. It's hay. Oh, I'll tell you about a hayloft. You recognize the sounds of deer hunter? Interesting. Can I leave this area? No, I can't. <sighs> Why can't they go into the goddamn place? Hang on one sec. Okay. Another hint, another, another hint. Remember to click on the bulb if you get stuck. I'm stuck. That key may come in handy now. But how? There's no place to use it. But this is not letting me go in there, right? Yeah, it's going to go around it. Oh, oh, now I can see the door. Why couldn't I ask it before? So you're never like lost to begin with. You're just hiding. I 
don't understand. Look, Hippo is right. It's Nye. We found her. We found Nye. We are the champions. Hello there. Oh, I'm pleased that Hippo sent you. He's my dearest friend. I can see you also have a companion. He looks pretty smart, but a bit chicken. Much like a desert snake. Scared? Me? I'll have you know, I won a medal for the fastest dragon. What? Please don't tell anybody that I'm here. Not even my father must know. I'm ever so frightened. That explains everything. Please don't tell anybody that I'm here. Not even my father must know. I'm ever so frightened. What are you frightened about? This guy? I've done something silly. Menu is always harping on about how much of a coward I am. So, to prove him wrong, I wriggled my way into the house of Sabakotep, the slave trader. I dug holes in the wall and climbed up to the balcony. What I would give to know why you humans managed to get into such a mess. Utterly incredible. Right, we have no choice but to help Nye. I must remain hidden here until the slave trader's anger subsides. Even if I were to return his figurines, he's in such a foul mood that he will surely sell me off as a slave. Can you bring me some food for tomorrow? I'm absolutely starving. Here, take this figurine. It's all I have to offer. I would so like for us to be friends. The figurine belongs to the slave trader. Hmm, we can't refuse a gift, but we have to be wary as the figurine has been stolen. Perhaps we should return it to the slave trader. Gosh, is that the time? It will soon be morning back home and your mother will be in to wake you. See you soon, Nye. We'll be back. Right, how are we doing so far? We found Nye. Mission accomplished. Congratulations, you did a great job. You're almost as smart as a dragon. See you tonight. We'll go back to Egypt to give Nye some food. Was he pretty damn stupid, meantime, though? Have a great day. I'm off to bed. I'm exhausted. Just work hard at school. You piece of crap. It's like, what the hell? Like, I'm going to stay up all night and you can go to sleep now? So I'm supposed to just stay up, like, day and night, day and night? Dumb bastard. Thanks, Dragon. <laughs> I think everybody gave up on this game, whoever was here, except for Always Asleep and Pirate Gamer Boy during the board game. We got a few people here, but that board game should have killed it. I, I'm inclined to save and exit, given that it's been an hour and a half, and start another time with day two of the best Egypt themed children's game with a dragon in it that I've ever played. Aside from that, it's, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's not terrible, but it's just it's, it's it has a lot of a lot of design problems. Those those mini games are not necessary, especially the board game. You've had die as being constant. Yeah, now now Bill Nye, the, the science guy, will definitely be able to come into existence since I found die. So we're all good. Ah oh, man, all right. Well, I think that's it for tonight. I had, I had enough just bullshit. It's okay, but it, it could be a lot better, I think. But I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll play some more, and we'll see if it gets any better. Until <laughs> the job is done. You always say that. I'm about to play the whole damn game, and there's five nights. There's no way I can play the whole game tonight. Not possible. So I'm going to stop here, because it's a good stopping point. Excuse <sighs> me. Alright guys, thank you very much for being here. Always asleep, Pirate Gear Boy, Luis, Jim, Gamers Grotto, who just likes to pop in and say hello, pretend he's here the rest of the time. Miami Sunrise, Johnny Bond. I think that was it for today. If you're watching this after the fact, please leave a comment and like and subscribe. If you're not subscribed already, let me know if you like my thumbnail. Do something, I don't know, whatever you want uh, to, to let me know that you're interacting. Yeah, the Dancing Dragon could be a separate desktop toy. Yeah, probably, probably it should have. It's not a bad idea, actually. Take care, guys. Have a great night. Oh, it says peace save. 
Episode 2, Bedroom. You quit, you get this, uh, like this credits thing here. Egypt Kids, a crow production of Creo. Producers Jean Monsieur de France, Philippe Ulrich, Philippe Boyle, Eric Ballet, Mathieu Saint Denis, Candice Prado, Roman Sanfati, Franck Lutique, Florian Dies, Eric Simon, and Geraldine Moody, and Reunion des Musées Nationaux. Anyway. Ha! Scientific validation. Sadrine Bernardo, specialist, speaker in ancient Egypt. Um, I think you failed scientific validation there, Sadrine Bernardo. <laughs> that definitely is not how they speak to ancient Egypt, so I, I don't know what the hell you're thinking there. Anyway, electromechanic games on this board. Have a good night, guys. Peace out. Talk to you all soon.